हेलो एवरीवन आई एम राहुल नाइक असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एट सेंट जीवेस कॉलेज आई विश टू इन्फॉर्म यू थ्रू दिस वीडियो दैट आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद द न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द कोर्स डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस एंड डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स ऑन माय YouTube चैनल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स is a six credit course for second year bsc student designed by goa university although i'll be following the syllabus of goa university the very same course can be used by any student studying differential equation or discrete mathematics so here we start with our first lecture The chapter one in this course is the first order ordinary differential equation. Let's start with dis, uh, discussing the notion of differential equation. Okay, so the definition of differential equation. okay now in a simple word in a simple language a differential equation is an equation involving the differential coefficients that is the derivatives of some unknown functions okay uh, an equation which involves differential coefficient it's called a differential equation so let us see some examples of such equations first one dy by dx is equal to 1 plus x square upon 1 minus y square okay now you can see that the differential coefficients involved over here is the dy by dx so y is the dependent variable and x is an independent variable okay one more equation d2 y by dx2 plus 8 dy by dx minus 2 y is equal to 0 1 plus dy by dx square the whole raised to three by two is equal to k time d two y by d x two. We'll see some more examples in another page. Example four x do u by do x. Plus y do u by do y is equal to n into u. Now here u is considered as a function of two variable, and so the differential coefficients appearing over here will be a partial derivative of u with respect to its variable. Okay, one more, the last one. Okay, here in this case n is a constant. Okay, so do to Do to z by do x do y is equal to do z by 
do y. Okay. So these are some examples of differential equation. Now, if you look at this example, look at this examples. There are two. You can categorize this into two two kinds of differential equation. You can see in the first page in the previous examples. We can see that the differential coefficients that involves only one independent variable, and over here the differential coefficients involves more than one independent variable, and so we categorize this into two part. The first kind of uh, differential equations are called as ordinary differential equation, and the second one is called as the partial differential equation. So, there are two types of differential equation. Okay. The first one as I said is called as the ordinary differential equation. Uh, so, it is a differential equation derivatives with respect to a single independent variable as an example 1, 2, and 3. Okay. And the second kind of differential equation is called as the partial differential equation. It is a differential equation. involving partial derivative with respect to more than one one independent variable So, now in this chapter we will look for the ordinary differential in fact on the uh, in this course we will study the ordinary differential equation. Now, uh, we define some more basic terms related to differential equation such as order and degree of a differential equation. So, next is the definition of order and degree of a differential equation. Okay. The order of the differential equation is the highest order derivative present in the given differential equation. Okay. As we know that the order of the derivatives are always a natural number. So, the order of the differential equation is always a natural number. We know that there is a first order derivative, second order derivative, third order derivative and, and so, so on. So, highest order de derivative or the highest order differential coefficient that is present in the differential equation is an order of the differential equation. Okay. So, the term order of a differential equation is 
an integer or in fact it is a natural number is an integer which is the highest which is the highest which is the highest order of a differential coefficient involved in a differential equation. Okay. And same with the degree of the differential equation is the degree of the highest order derivative that is present in the that is present in the given differential equation or in other words it is a power of the highest order derivative that is present in given differential equation. So, degree of a differential equation is the degree is the degree of the highest derivative after removing after removing the radical sign and fraction if at all involved in a given differential equation. Okay. Now, here if you have if the degree of the given differential equation is 1 we call it as a linear differential equation or the first degree differential equation. Same way we have a first order differential equation, second order differential equation, third order differential equa equation depending on its order. Okay. Let us find the order and the degree of the differential equations of the examples which we have already mentioned. Okay. Okay. Let us look at this, okay, the first one. So, to find its order we need to see the highest order derivative is present in this given differential equation order ok. Now, in this case you can see that only one differential coefficient that is present over here that is dy by dx and uh, even though this is a, a fraction we can get this mi 1 minus y square to the other side ok. So, the order of this is equal to 1 degree of this will be the the power of this highest order coefficient that is appearing and it is equal to 1. So, the degree is 1 and there are no there are no radical radical signs there is a fraction, but it would not make big difference as uh, if I multiply throughout by 1 minus y square again the power of dy or the degree of dy by d dx will be equal to 1. Take the second example order. So, first thing to find the order we will uh, see the highest derivative that is present in this differential equation. So, it is d 2 y by d x 2 because it is order is 1 here the order of d y by d x is 1 the, the derivative is 1. So, the order of this is 2. Okay. Now, there are no radical present in this uh, uh, differential equation. So, we can directly see the, the degree of this d 2 y by d x 2 and that is equal to 1 and so the degree is 1. Okay. So, this is in fact second order linear differential equation as its degree is equal to 1. Now, just look at this third one. Third one to find the order we will see the highest derivative that is present in the differential equation d y by d x this is not the highest derivative as there is a d 2 y by d x 2. So, the order is equal to 2. 
Now, we will see the power of this the degree of this d 2 y by d x 2 after removing the radical sign. Now, if you note this, this bracket is actually the root and the root is raised by 3. So, we will have to remove this 1 by 2 from here. So, that is done by squaring uh, both the side. So, we squaring both the side we get 1 plus d y by d x square the whole raised to 3 is equal to k square d 2 y by d x 2 the whole raised to 2. Okay. And so, the degree you can see now the degree of d 2 y by d x 2 that is equal to 2. So, the degree is 2. Okay. Next, we will see the initial value problem. Okay. In short, this is called as I V P. Okay. An initial value problem is an ordinary differential equation with uh, an initial conditions. Now, what are the initial conditions? The initial condition specifies the value of an unknown function for certain points in the domain. Okay. Now, domain can be considered as the set of all the values uh, on which the given differential equation have a solution, have the solution. Okay. So, an initial value problem, an IVP, an IVP is an ordinary differential equation. We use the short form ODE for an ordinary differential equation together with an initial condition which specifies which specifies the value of the unknown function at say for a first order y dash of x is equal to k time y where k is a constant with the condition y of 0 is equal to 2. So, this is the initial condition. One more example, let us take a second order differential equation d 2 y by d x 2 plus 8 time d y by d x plus 2 time y is equal to say 0 with the condition y of 0 is equal to 2 and y dash of 0 is equal to 1. This both are the initial conditions.